OK, so in this video, we're going to solve sine squared x equals 1 ninth between 0 and 2 pi. So once again, you might be looking at this going, how on earth are we going to go about this one? Then if you were solving x squared equals 1 ninth, you just square root both sides. And so we square root both sides here. So just be careful. Make sure you know that that is the notation that we use to represent sine x all squared, OK? So we don't write that that often. We write that instead, OK? They mean exactly the same thing. Um, but what you must be clear on is that sine minus 1 of x, although that index here means squaring the whole thing, this index does not mean um, sine x to the minus 1, which is 1 over sine x. These two things are actually different, OK? And um, that is a problem with the notation, OK? There is a problem with the notation that we use in that it's not perfect. This represents an inverse function. This represents the reciprocal function, so 1 over sine x, OK? These do not mean the same thing, OK? So just be aware of that. So we're going to square root both sides. So what's going to happen when I square root 1 ninth is I'm going to get plus or minus 1 third, OK? So I'm actually solving here two separate equations. Sine x is positive one-third, and sine x is negative one-third. OK? So that means I have to inverse sine uh, one-third. OK? So making sure that my calculator is in radians this time. So shift mode, and then number fourth, radians. Inverse sine of one-third is 0 0.340 to three significant figures, or three decimal places. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to draw ourselves the sine curve. OK. Now we're looking at one third. So one third is that horizontal line there. So we have a solution here and a solution there. This one is the 0 0.340. That distance must be the same as that one. Now we know that that is pi, so this is pi take away 0 0.340 to get that one. So pi take away the answer key, keeping everything on my calculator, is 2.802 to three decimal places. OK, so I now have two solutions from that one. Now, if I solve sine x equals minus a third, inverse sine both sides, so we're going to get inverse sine of minus a third. So inverse sine of minus 1 over 3 is actually minus 0 0.340. Now, minus 0 0.340 is not between 0 and 2 pi. There's no negative values here. So the curve extends, OK? So let's uh, continue the x-axis. Here is the horizontal line of minus a third. This is the solution that my calculator has given me, the minus 0 0.340. That distance is 3 0 0.340, and so will this distance be. So I can get that solution by doing pi plus 0 0.340. OK, so I'm going to um, times this answer by minus 1 to make it positive, then pi plus answer is 3.481, OK? Now, for the purposes of what I need, I'm going to subtract pi to get back to my 0 0.340. This is my other solution. Now, that point there is 2 pi. 
So this distance is exactly the same as all the other ones. So this one I can find by doing 2 pi take away 0 0.340. So 2 pi take away the answer key is 5.943 to three decimal places. So I actually have four solutions to the original problem. I've got the 0 0.340, I've got the 2.802, I've got the 3.481, and the 5.943. Okay? And they are the four solutions to three decimal places that solve the original problem.